A final cheer from the party faithful. The supporters of the socialists giving their candidate, incumbent President Igor Dodon, all the reassurance that he has their vote. From the old guard to the younger generation, in Moldova, Dodon is Moscow's man and has campaigned on close relations with Russia. He says the country will fare best, united under his vision. Brothers and sisters, we have something to lose. Moldova has something to lose. We must all be united together. A cohesive enough message, but not one for his political rivals. Our opponents got cocky and now they're gagging for a punch in the face. That's the only language they understand. That's why we need to be hard on them. President Dodon may be feeling a lot of enthusiasm here at this rally, but he's also under a lot of pressure. He lost in the first round of the elections. The question is, can he clinch enough votes to win in the second round? This is the candidate who has given Dodon cause for concern. Maya Sandu, the leader of the Action and Solidarity Party. In a campaign which has seen her being maligned for being, among other things, a woman with pro-Western political ideals, she says what Moldova needs is a marked change from the problems that have held it back. I hope that people will um, believe in this opportunity because there has been so much disappointment in the past. Uh, we have had such an opportunity in 2009 when there was a massive support for pro-European uh, political parties. And then these parties unfortunately disappointed people because they, they got into corruption. Reforming one of Europe's poorest countries has been a challenge that has defied previous leaders. Corruption and poverty are the main concerns. There is also a demographic crisis caused by tens of thousands of people leaving to work in other countries every year. But it means that the Moldovan diaspora is an important voting bloc, and it's reflected in the numbers of people who mostly live and work in the West. Over the last four years, uh, almost 150,000 Moldovan citizens have left the country because of the way how this country is governed. And the fact that in, despite the pandemic, uh, uh, lockdowns uh, motivated their participation definitely shows uh, the link with the country and the, with the future of this country. This is a decisive election in Moldova. It's a battle for its political soul, a choice that could see its ideals staying east with all that Russia can offer or go west for a different view. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Kishinev.